In this unit we're going to look at duplicating views. So why exactly would you want to duplicate a view in Revit? Well let's base it on a real world example. So here's a simple project, just switch to a 3D view, give you a flavour of the, the model we've created. I'm going to go back to a floor plan view. So you can see here we've got a single floor plan view based on level zero. So if I just switch to an elevation view you can see the levels in the project and there is level zero at the ground floor so let's go back to our level zero floor plan view so typically in an architectural project we're going to need multiple views all taken at the same level so for example for our building here we would have a general arrangement floor plan we might have a setting out plan or dimension plan. We might have a furniture plan. So there would be multiple views or plans that we need all taken at the same level. So what we don't want to do is create new levels here at the same height in the model for each floor plan we need. We don't need to do that. We can just have a single level that exists in the model and we can have multiple views, floor plans, all referenced back to that same height or that same level. To duplicate a view, all we need to do is right click on the view name and in the floating menu, you will see the option to duplicate view. Now, the important thing to note here is this sub menu that pops up. There are three options in terms of duplicating views. There is an option to duplicate, duplicate with detailing, and duplicate as a dependent and I'm going to take you through one by one the differences between each of these options. So I've just said there are three different methods of duplicating views. I just want to talk quickly now about the fundamental differences between those three different options. And then after that, I'll take you through each one with a real world example. So remember to duplicate a view just right click over the view name in the project browser and in the floating menu you will see the option to duplicate view as soon as you hover over that that's when you see the three different options available to you duplicate duplicate with detailing and duplicate as a dependent so i just want to describe very quickly the differences between those and the first two the difference between them really comes down to the concept of model elements versus detail and annotation elements. That is that the model elements are universal and will appear in any model view that you can see them in. So for example, if you've got multiple floor plans all taken at the same height, then you would expect your walls, your doors, your windows to be seen in all those because there is a single model and each view references that particular view of the model. That is fundamentally different to the detail items such as tags, um, dimensions, anything that's used to detail or annotate your view so it isn't part of the model. All those items, i.e. the detail and the annotation items, are view specific. They only exist in the view in which they were created. So if we want to create a duplicate of this floor plan and all we're interested in is making another snapshot of the model at this height and we're not interested in copying or duplicating any annotations or detail items that might exist in this view, that's when we would just select duplicate. If, for example, this view we have here had a number of annotation or detail items included, let's say it was fully dimensioned up, we would need, if we wanted to create a duplicate of this view which include those items, we would need to choose duplicate with detailing, which would make a new view of the model at this point, but it would also replicate all the detail items, i.e. maybe dimensions, in the new view as well. So I'll show you how that works in a second. The final option, duplicate as a dependent, has a very specific use. When we come to place our views that we've created onto sheets, and I'll just show you an example of the default Autodesk title block sheet. 
that's what you get with the software obviously you'll want to go and compose your own with your own office logo on there but when you come to compose these sheets you'll be placing these views onto them each view generally can only go on one sheet there are a couple of exceptions with legends and schedules and I'll show you those in their respective units but generally the views that you've created are your floor plans, ceiling plans, 3D views each view can only go onto one sheet if you then go and try and allocate the same view onto another sheet you'll get an error message so duplicate as a dependent allows you to create a clone of a particular view so that you can place one version on one sheet and then it's clone onto another sheet. I'll show you that later on in this unit. Okay, so we've talked about the three types of duplication. Let's go ahead and look at how each one works. So starting with this level zero floor plan, I'm just going to rename it. So right click and rename. I'm going to call this GA plan, which stands for general arrangement. So I've got GA plan. I don't want to change the level name, just the view name. So no to that. So now it says GA plan in the project browser. We want to create, let's say, a separate plan for our furniture layout. So I need a furniture plan now. Again, at the same level in the model, so at the ground floor. Just note this dimension I've put on here. I've included that so that we can actually see the difference between the operation of those um, duplication tools. So we've got a floor plan showing our model and it's got an annotation in, i.e. this dimension here. So let's go ahead and create a duplicate. So right click, duplicate view, and duplicate. So straight away Revit has created a copy, a duplicate of that plan. It's named it with the same name plus it's added copy one. Now straight away you'll want to probably right click and rename it to something more meaningful. So we said this was going to be a furniture plan. You'd probably do something like that, underscore ground floor, so you can identify it from uh, other furniture plans, maybe different parts of the building. So there is our new view, furniture plan at ground floor. Now notice because we chose duplicate and not duplicate with detailing, the dimension was not brought across to this view or was not recreated in this view shall I say. So let's go back. There's the original view. There's the dimension, which is an annotation item. Because we just chose to duplicate and not with detailing, we got a copy or a clone of the original view, but it did not recreate the detail or annotation items in this new view. Okay, so we've got our GA plan, we've got our furniture plan. Let's go ahead and create a finishes plan. So I'm going to start with the GA plan as the source plan. We're going to duplicate from here. Remember that dimension that we included in this particular view. So I'm going to right click, duplicate view. This time I'm going to choose duplicate with detailing just to show you the difference now between the first option and the second. So duplicate with detailing. Again, Revit has now made a copy, call it GA plan copy one again. If we hadn't have renamed that furniture one, remember that was called GA plan copy one, we would get GA plan copy two. Each plan must have a unique name in the project browser. Um, but Binza, we did rename that first one. GA plan copy one is freed up, so Revit has given or allocated that name to the duplicate. So let's right click, rename, and we're gonna call this our finishes plan. Ground floor. 
Now in later units I will show you how you actually then go on from here and customize the look or the graphic display of each of these views to show exactly what you need it to show. So for example a setting out plan or a finishes plan wouldn't need to show the furniture on so we can filter those out but that's something for a separate unit. For now we just want to concentrate on creating these different duplicated views ready for customization. So we've got our finishes plan on the ground floor. Now because we chose duplicate with detailing Revit created the detail and annotation items in this view as well. Now, the important thing to note here is that it is the same model that you are seeing. You can think of this as a viewport if you're used to AutoCAD or similar CAD programs. So think of this new view as a new viewport looking in on the same model but the detail and annotation items have been recreated as separate elements in this new view. They are view specific and I can demonstrate that quite easily by going back into the GA plan and let's say for example we take that group of tables and we move it up to the top of that room and we go back to the finishes plan the tables have moved there and also in that furniture plan they will have as well because they are part of the model and all these views are just viewports looking into the same single model database. However, the dimension is a annotation item. So let's go back to the GA plan. Remember these are view specific. So if for example I move that dimension position up there and now switch to the view we've just created with detailing that dimension hasn't changed because that is a separate annotation element it was recreated duplicated from the original one but it exists independently in each view so they can be manipulated separately likewise we could just simply delete that dimension in the first view but it would have no effect on the duplicated one so just to recap there the model items are universal there is just one single model so if you make a change here for example if I went ahead and deleted those tables they've gone out of all views that you can see the tables in however any annotation or detail items such as dimensions, tags, detail lines, filled regions are view specific and if you duplicate with detailing you will get a duplicate or second set of those items created and you can go and edit and manipulate each set individually. And you'll recall the third option in terms of duplication was duplicating as a dependent. And we're going to take a look at that now. So and again, I'm going to work with this GA plan, floor plan view. I've got two sheets in this particular project. Now I am going to cover sheets and placing views onto sheets towards the end of the course. So don't worry about the exact detail of how this works. But for now, just be aware we've got two separate sheets in our project. Now what I'm going to do is select the first sheet there, sheet number A103. And to place views onto sheets, the easiest way is just to do a single click onto the view in question, so J plan. Click and hold the left mouse button and simply drag from the project browser onto the sheet and click to place the view. Let's say I am going to take you through in detail in a specific unit all about composing your sheets and placing your views onto them but it is really as easy as that just select the view and drag and drop but for now I just want you to be aware that I've placed that particular view onto this sheet and if I now switch to the second sheet, A104, 
and I go ahead and select that same view that we've just placed and I try and drag it onto this sheet I get a, a warning box saying this view is already placed on and it tells me what sheet it is so this is what I was saying before each view in your project browser can only be allocated to one sheet now each sheet can contain multiple views so we could go ahead and add ceiling plans a 3d view maybe an elevation a schedule all to this single sheet but each view can only go on one sheet there are a couple of exceptions to that um, we're covering those uh, in later units so what if you need a copy or an exact clone of this particular view this j plan on another sheet we've just seen it we can't simply drag it onto another one this is where the duplicators dependent comes into its own so right click duplicate as a dependent now this one has already been cropped I'm just going to turn off the cropping effect and the visibility of the crop region I'm going to cover crop regions specifically in a unit that's coming up soon I'm just going to turn those off for now so if I flip between the, those two you can see that one is an exact clone of the other so they're both identical the only thing that really we can change between them is the crop regions ie we can mask off part of one view and show the other but that's about it every other attribute will always remain uh, cloned in its associated view and you'll notice in the project browser rather than being placed straight below it the dependent view is sort of indented so you've got this parent and child relationship because those two are clones of each other and one is dependent on the other they stay together in the project browser so now we can go to let's say that second sheet and we can put the dependent view onto there so at this point you may be asking why we didn't just use the duplicate with detailing that would have given us a duplicated view which would have contained all the annotation and detail items in the original one and then we could have put the du duplicated view onto the second sheet well, we could do that the problem is as your project develops let's say you start um, changing some of the annotation items or you start adding detail items to one view you're going to have to manually go to the other duplicated view and keep either copy and paste between them or adding them separately if you genuinely want both of these views one on each sheet to always be an exact clone of the other if you use the duplicate as a dependent you haven't got to worry about keeping both views in sync you can work on either view we could add dimensions here let's just do that add a dimension across there go back to the other one and see that detail item is automatically cloned onto it so at all times both these views will be exact carbon copies of each other and that completes this unit to get the most out of this training material please take the complete course online at bimscape.com here you will find a complete learning management system that allows you to work through the course at your own pace Comprehensive written tutorials provide additional information to that found in the training videos. Mark each unit as complete as you finish it and move on to the next. At any point you can return to any of the units you have previously completed to go over the material again. If you'd like to take this course online, please visit www.bimscape.com forward slash Revit for details.